What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm going to do a cube draft. Because that's why you're here. We're all here for the cube draft. I think. If we're not, it's weird because... What are you doing with your life? Let's lower that volume. <clears throat> oh my god. Those creepy Kenji gifts, dude. Bobby Miser, let's th 100, let's 3 0 bits. I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. Uh, well, they're cubes because I imagine uh, you can fit them into a box the shape of a cube, whereas you can't fit them into a box the shape of a sphere or an orb. A Roy Orbison. <clears throat> I got up really early today, like I think 7.30ish, 8, 8 o'clock. I just couldn't fall back asleep. I went to bed really early too, though, so it works out. But <clears throat> also, uh, <clears throat> roommate Felipe is also trying to stream at the same time. Uh, reason being that we're trying to test the bandwidth. So if it gets real choppy for you, let me know. All right, what do we got here? Chandra, Karenos. It's actually a pretty good pack. Um, Gonti. Thank you. No, welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let's see how you smash when all your hands fall off. We do have a green soul ring. There's also a Gonti. I think it's one of these like four picks. I like a Demir signet too. I feel like the signets aren't as powerful in this cube because you're not doing more powerful things. 29 seconds, huh? <laughs> oh, Billy Biscuits. I'm just going to take the Karanos. No, I don't like blue-red. I don't like it. I don't think Sheldock Isle is actually that strong. Uh, it's, it's good in the Vintage cube because you're doing broken shit. In here, not so much. I, I like Mind Shatter. I'm going to take Draga Tree Speaker. I'm going to go green. And then we're going to get this Ronus and a Woodfall Primus. I'm going to take the Woodfall Primus. And I'm going to keep every finger I have crossed that this Ronus comes back. Hold on, let me cross them all. I bet I can even double cross them. <clears throat> I like Woodfall Primus. That's a strong card. Ooh, a Sakura. So I was watching recently, I've been watching Man in the High Castle on Amazon Prime. If you guys don't, haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. It's a really good show. Um, it's about if the Nazis won, if, if Germany and the, Nazi, the Nazis won uh, World War II and what the world would look like. And uh, it's pretty interesting. But there's a scene where uh, they go on to define Sakura. Sakura is in, like the, the word Sakura shows up in the show. And uh, <clears throat> they say it means cherry blossom. And I didn't know that. It's probably very common if you're if you're familiar with Japanese, but I didn't know that. So it's funny to think that this is Cherry Blossom Tribuilder. So <laughs> just throw up gang signs on stream. Watch me. <clears throat> uh, I think Radical Mystic is probably better than Green Seeker. Maybe Green Seeker is real strong if you hit a couple lands off of it. Which I think Radical Mystic's pretty repeatable. I'm going to take the Green Seeker. I just talked myself out of it. Alright, I really like that all these green cards are here. Hey! I got a new comforter, and Hunter's like digging around on it to like get comfortable, and I'm like, oh, please don't do that. I don't know the tolerance of this. Like, I, don't want you, I really don't want you to like rip it, and uh, then I'd feel real terrible. It could be Mana Gorge. I don't think we want Chandler in issue. We already have three cards that ramp here. I think we just want Mana Gorge or Hydra. I think Hydra's pretty underrated. I'm going to take the Virtuous Gear Hulk. We're, gonna, we're mono green all the way. Gear Hulk is also great for cards like Dryad Green Seeker because you just make it a 4-5 or a 5-6. 
or a four five, and there are four seven. Five, I'm gonna. These are just numbers that are coming out of my mouth. None of them are actually. Uh, none of them are accurate, and uh, we're just gonna move on from here. Uh, Gideon, sort of light and shadow could be decent. We can get our things back. I don't think any of these other cards that we're splashing for. Bloodbraid Elf could be pretty good. I think it's probably Bloodbraid here. Eh, let's go with Sword. I like Sword better. It doesn't commit us to a different color, and there's no reason to commit to a different color. Except for, like, right now, when we actually have nothing in this pack. Well, that's unfortunate. Treetop Village is nice. It's nice to have an on-color creature land. <coughs> Monocolor does almost seem like the way to go in this cube. It's very interesting. Anyway, Cherry Blossom Tri Builder is pretty funny. I feel like I should have known that. Like, I feel like that should be common knowledge, or like I should have known that. There it is. Look, we crossed all our things, and the Ronus came back. I hope this Obstinate Bailoth comes back, too. That would be gas. Ronus feels very strong. Monsonster, I actually saw the payment for the stip, but I didn't actually see where you posted the stip anywhere. I checked my email, I checked Facebook, I checked all the things. I'm going to check Discord right now, but I feel like I would have gotten a notification on Discord. Yeah, I don't have any, like, messages from you. <clears throat> where did you put, where did you actually send the stip? I'll take Blessed Alliance, because maybe we're green. Or white, rather. So I turn on notifications in the app and I'll add notifications on iOS. I still get no That's weird. You may actually have to go to my Twitch page and turn on the notifications specifically for my stream. That might be why you don't get them. <clears throat> oh, Cosme, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Looks like it's like our it's like our anniversary up in here. Dang it. Eh, I'll take a look around this shit. Sure. And <clears throat> don't care about anything in this pack. Kite sail, free booty. Well, the green dried up, which is interesting, but... Uh... Mm. Yeah, if you guys ever message me on Twitch, I rarely get them. Twitch is like my least favorite means of getting messages from you guys. I never check them, and uh, I don't think Twitch is an efficient communication uh, means. So usually email is best uh, because I will always get email and I can uh, make sure to like prioritize it in my email. Um. Discord also works. That's an easy way as well. And I'll get notifications for that. Like Twitch, I just get no notifications for it whatsoever. <clears throat> Monsonster, appreciate it, buddy. I like Sword of Fire and Ice, but I also like Eternal Witness. So that's where we're at right now. Johnny Mentor of Heroes seems good. Hmm. Sword doesn't recur plowed, though. That's true. <clears throat> Monsonster, appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, I kind of like a Johnny, and it does let us play the white cards, I guess. I, I, the, other, the other option is rampant growth in that pack, which is not exciting. Wolfier Silverheart's pretty solid. 
again, it's like Virgil's Gear Hulk, where you're just giving plus four, plus four to something. Kitchen Finks is cool, but I think we can get more three drops. I'm going to take the Wolf here, Silver Heart. I'm not loving this deck so far. We're not getting a lot of the hits here. I like that a Johnny like single-handedly allows us to uh, attack with the Uronis. Like we can just make a one-one. We can put three counters on a one-one. Whisper Whittle Elemental is great, great. That's a pretty easy pickup. All right, so now we have enough five drops. Oh, overperform for you, huh? We do have to find a way to get some white man into the deck. We can add one planes, but I'm not thrilled about it. I would like a Temple Garden. Or a Sun Petal Grove. Avacyn's Pilgrim will do. That's uh that's pretty convenient. No 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 problem. I don't know what I'm saying right there. No 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 problem. <clears throat> Because you don't mess with a man carrying a bag of poop. <clears throat> Maybe you don't. Got him. How do we feel about, like, Mimic Vat or Pelucronus? I mean, like, Pelucronus is the obvious other card, but how do we feel about Mimic Vat? I don't like it. In, like I said, I, I've, I've gone over this before. I don't like it when you don't have a way to actively control which creatures die. Like, you're just kind of like, well, I have a Mimic Vat, but you're not attacking into me, and you're not blocking my guys. So... It just doesn't really, it doesn't work out. Like, Mimic Vat's a great card, but it doesn't really do what you want it to do. Do. Do, 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 do. I really like Immortal Sun here because we don't have any Planeswalkers except for a Johnny. Um, but I think Sword of Body and Mind's probably better in the Heavy Creature deck. Especially when we can go, like, turn one guy, turn two equip. Or turn two sword, rather. Turn three attack and equip. Not in that order, though. Hey, Sunpetal Grove and a Llanowar Elf. Interesting. Is it worth it? Probably. Well, there would only be, like, one card in the pack if, uh... Some would have to be the last card in that pack, unfortunately. I just want more one-drops because of the two swords. So, I'm gonna go that route. This guy's also not terrible. We can play this, dude. Hmm. I guess I'll take the white card. Tarmogoyf's actually also reasonable in this cube. I've, uh, had some decent... Decent results with the Tarmogizzle. Shambling Vent. So we have two black-white lands, which is interesting. Our entire sideboard and 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 deck is completely Abzan. And it just keeps on keeps on being Abzan. Keep on Abzan and Devoted to Druid. Ooh, Windswept Heath is nice. <clears throat> that lets us splash pretty easily, and I think it's probably better than Devoted Druid. I don't think Vizier of uh, Vizier of Remedies is in this cube, thankfully, because that doesn't seem like fun. Yeah, we'll just take Windswept Heath. I'm so tilted right now. Here we go. Here we go. Rob story. Nissa being the only green card in the pack. Not only is Nissa great, but being the only green card, I'm like, okay, easy pick. Easy game, easy life. Whoa. 
Mm-hmm. Well, butter my biscuits. That's the dude you want. Beast Within. I was actually hoping for a Beast Within because I'm like, man, it sure would be great if I had a way to remove things. Is it better than Sword of Feast and Famine? Probably. That's a good amount of versatility. Whoa, that's a dude too. That is also removal, so I will take this guy. These picks have been very good. Playing competitive giraffes on arena, playing Boros, running 8 8 split of mountains plans. Lost four games because I had opening hand red mana and never drew a second mountain ending the game with four plus planes. <clears throat> hey, it's kind of possible to be to have your own annotated blue black deck through modern turn before next before next Friday. So like before the like seventh. Uh, I would love to, because I've enjoyed that deck every time I played it. So that is totally up to you, and I would be pretty okay with that. Because blue, like I, I think I've said it before, but like blue, black, and black, white are pr two of my like favorite unsung modern decks because I think they're surprisingly good, and just people just don't play them that often, and it's kind of funny. Um, do I care about cord? Maybe. Yeah, Scott, you know how to email me. You know my, you know the, you know the drill. <laughs> cord for ballistic game. <laughs> Got him. What can you do? Uh, I don't think we need more big guys. I'm just going to take the cord because it's pretty versatile in a deck like this. Oh, I actually love Rampaging Balos. This is a card that you look at it and you're just like, this is, these are just big dumb idiots. But then they end up winning because it's a 6-6 six, six and a 4-4 four, four at least, usually the first time you play it. And then they just get bigger from there. They don't get bigger. They get wider. Not a big Porcelain Legionnaire fan here. I would love for the sake of my patience to have an idea when you'd be able to. Um, whenever what it, let me you know let me know a day that works for you next week and I'll do it. That is totally up to you. But also, yeah, I can we can go over that in, in the email or whatever, whenever you send it. take this Philidar Guardian. Actually, let's take Nykthos. This could be a Nykthos deck. Do we cut one of the swords? Actually, we could probably just play... This could be a 16 land deck with these guys, all these dudes here. I could see cutting Walking Ballista, actually. Jeez, Mask Arm, Silk Ramp, jeez. Jeez, Cheddar, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. There's a lot of good white cards. Like, the, the white-black cards in this have been pretty sweet. I'm pretty sure this is the deck, and we're just splashing one for a Johnny. Like, one one forest. Uh, which Or one plains, rather. Which gives us Avacyn's Pilgrim, Sakura Tribe Elder... Uh, the four, the plains, the windswept heath, and I think there's one more, right? Maybe it's just the four. Pilgrim, tribe elder, plains, windswept heath. That's four sources of white for one white card. That seems fine. Could play Knight of the Reliquary, but that's not that exciting. I just wrecked a deck like this. I played turn three plow under. It's yeah, I, plow under is my has been my MVP this this go around of the cube so you 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 yeah unfortunately I always get sad when I'm playing the white deck and I don't get the or the green deck and don't get the um plow under because it's just surprisingly good I'm just like oh time walk you I, like I've had so many concessions after you go after you go plow under they draw their first land and then they're just like there's one more coming, isn't there? And then there could be another one after that. You never know. So you're just like, well, this is, this is ridiculous.
We also have 18 creatures, though. I don't think we're in any... Like, we're not, like, looking for creatures that hold swords. But I like being able to board in the Ballista. Like, oh, you gotta get a bunch of small dudes, I'll bring in the Ballista. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. This Tarmogoyf's pretty unexciting. It might actually be better than Goyf. Yeah, that's a good point. I can see that. Yes, we also, yeah, we did the, uh, the, the, the plow under, Eternal Witness plow under, and, uh, did not end well for them. It went okay for us. Tribe Elder. Tree Dome. I think we're just gonna take a turn off here we'll play nissa next turn or ronus we can go ronus into pelucranos which is actually seems pretty strong we just have to expose ourselves for two turns well that dude's annoying what up alan Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just play this. I mean, we take five, six, ugh, seven. Ugh. So we go to 11 here. <sighs> Not a fan of these red decks. Yeah, see, if this Tarmogoyf is a Ballista, this guy'd be dead. I think that's 100% the correct choice. I hope they try to kill this. They did not. They did not. Huh. They just added two mana and then did nothing with it. I'm actually a little surprised at that because they could have done a different thing. <laughs> bow -da -da boom bow -da bow -da boom 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 Get that Chandra. Now next time we can go Gorger into Tarmogoyf. If we survive, we're going to be taking at least three. Goes to eight. <laughs> oh, boy. Don't deal five to this guy. Wow. Lucky, 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 lucky. That is a thing, isn't it? So we take two more from Mana Gorge or Hyde from these two creatures. Um, God, Rosadon is so stupid. Meanwhile, Ron is still not online. Got a Planeswalker, a Sorcery, and a Pelucranos. Yep, that's pretty good. So now we can't block this guy, and we're dead. Yep, we can only block here, so we take... Yep, that's that's something. These red decks are pretty cool. Well, Tomoko was pretty good there. Probably going to take out Woodfall Primus instead. What are you... What? Are, wait, what... Well, did you listen to the new Freshly Brewed? That literally came out four days ago?
Brian, thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, how was Ronus online? Goyf was a four. Yeah, I mean, we still block the Ferocidon and we take three. We go to one, which means we can't actually play any creatures. I don't know. Maybe we weren't dead, but uh, we felt pretty dead. <laughs> Ideally, we get like a Scrot Tribal to here. Don't kill this guy. We didn't. Oh, survived. Oh, well. going to pass here. <clears throat> yep. That is fine. White mana. That's not a white mana, but that's pretty great. That is exceptional. Ha! Ah, that's funny. Targeting the morph. Sure. Targeting the tree speaker. Sure. All right. Well, these are all things you're doing. Nissa. Forest, Avacyn's Pilgrim. Well, we're not attacking into into your into your nerds. Court of Calling, man, what's with all the X spells? That's true. We could flip it. I mean, theoretically, if they had uh, like a searing whatever the one is that that dies when you don't have a target, we could have flipped it, but not necessarily relevant. These are all very interesting choices. You're just killing all my things. But, like, not the big guy that's actually super relevant here. Like, last turn I actually almost would have went Incinerate Lightning Bolt on this guy instead of the 2-2 and the... Alright, click the link. What am, I, what am I clicking here? <laughs> click the link! Well... We could play a Johnny. Put a bunch of counters on a bunch of dudes. Do I like that? I do like that. Um, master. Two swords? Dang. Sweet distribution. I'm just going to pass here. We're at 20. Yeah. This will do. An aura creature or a planeswalker. Cannot get lands. Oh, add four. Make four, add four. Sure. You got it. Gaining 100 life is going to prove more difficult now. Uh, if we get to ultimate of John, oh, Gear Hulk. Oh, that's sad because you don't get to actually flip it and have the ability trigger. Uh, do we just come after Koth? Hmm. Well, I'll deal with it. So distribute one, one, and one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. <clears throat> I 
We made Master a 4-4 so that they can't just kill it with like a 3-3. Uh, we lost game one. They had a pretty early rampaging Ferocidon and a young Pyromancer. Uh, this is fine. <laughs> this is all okay. It's going to be Eternal Witness ready. A forest. Nice. If you want to ult a Johnny, you should probably get rid of the Dino. Yeah, solid strategy. Good, good idea. Good idea. Wow, this Whisper Elemental kind of took over the game by itself. I think those resources were spent poorly on. Uh, tree speaker and the morph i think you could have killed the woods the wood the whisper wood there and would have probably been significantly better <sighs> wow that guy knew when to hold him and also when to fold him well all of these things are accurate uh, we'll keep this hand it's kind of slow but it's got all the lands we want it's got some swords life gain sword seems pretty good so ideally we'll draw a thing Walking Ballista. Forest. Oh my god, this is great. Nice and slow. No when to fold them. Well, that's not a Ferocidon, so that's okay. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Also, my ear is still uh, a little clogged. Good times. Just kill this. Attack for three. No. Add two mana again. To lightning bolt. Okay. Gets a card out of your hand, I guess. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. That dude is singing the Lion King. Seven mana. Are you just going to bane fire my face for like... S I see. Why did you overpay? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on right now. I think we're dead, but I still don't know what's going on. What would I like for Christmas? My credit card paid off? I think that's... <laughs> I think that's... Like, I don't really... I don't know. That's a... That's a question right there. Um, yeah, we're dead, right? Like, this guy makes any dude unable to block. They just have an answer for all the things. Oh, God. Yeah, this is not... This did not go well. Sweet digs? What does that mean? Oh, we're going to actually add... We're going to add the Burlista. I mean, Inferno Titan and Chandra are pretty real. <laughs> oh my god, you're going to get me demonetized. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> you 
gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when your green deck isn't doing great. I guess we'll... Is this a 16 land deck? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it is. If you get demonetized, is it just for one? Yes, it's just for one video. And then I can go through like a thing where I'm like, hey, listen, I'm clearly not trying to make money off this. And then they're like, yeah, too bad. And I'm like, oh, dang. And then there's like a, a YouTube feature that you can like erase the part of the video. Like it'll, there's like a, uh, a YouTube thing where it like it tries to erase the part of the video that has the copywritten issue. And sometimes it works, and then you can just get your you can remonetize re the video, as it were. Could we sponsor a demonetized stream? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, what does that entail? You just guys send me links, and I'll just play them the whole day. Beautiful. I just worry about getting sued by Metallica, you know? Lars Ulrich loves to to wave his lawyer peen around. Wow, it's so cool how late that Everson's poker. He's not late. He's late. He should have been here turn one. Kill that over the Nissa? That's interesting to me. Especially because we played Avacyn's Pilgrim, so it's kind of like, well, this is awkward because you could have killed two. Now you only killed one. And now we have a 6-6 six, six and an 8-8. Eight, eight. Wolfier Silverheart adds a lot of power to the board. For 5 mana, Wolfier Silverheart is a tw is, adds 12 power to the board. That's ridiculous. You know the green-red deck has to find a way to deal with an 8-8 eight, eight and a 6-6 six, six on turn... <laughs> oh my god, Wolfier Silverheart, dude. That card is not real. That game went well. I feel like I'm going to value Kitchen Finks a lot higher in this queue when I'm green because of the red decks. Actually feeling a little I think I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling like cold and achy. This is a weird feeling. I don't like this. You gotta know when you scrober. No one to bober. One is a sober, the other is a dead. That's good. That was actually pretty good. I don't love this hand. I don't hate it. I'm just disappointed in it.
Any two drop would be great here. What did I walk in on? Nothing. We're just talking about holding them and folding them and scrobin and bobin. Scrobin and bobin were the ancient Greek twins. Scrobin and bobin. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my god, this link. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, don't play a planeswalker and we're good. Don't play anything really. Just be like, I don't have anything in my hand that costs anything. It's the weakest card you can play. I don't know. That's the weakest card you can play. That is great. That is a great turn. Schmevendy. I hope you don't. Even if you have, yeah, it's okay. Hopefully this guy survives. That's my, that's my dream. Hashtag never survives. Yep, there it is. Feels good. Feels Batman. You gotta know when to bobin. I'm about to bust. Now this is problematic. Uh, no blocks, because it's not how we do it here. All right, that's good. Scrobin and a bobin. So they have seven mana. If they play a land, they have eight mana. It's a lot. Where's all our mana? That's it, your deck, stupid. Oh my god, I'm so tired of Inferno Titans. Being able to actually equip this next turn when they have no other green cre other non-green creatures, that would have been just amazing, but cool. Cause I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to bust. Oh man, that's really good. Well, this game's been a roller coaster of emotion. Let me post it here in the chat so that people can see it. If you're not on the Discord. This is a little clip my friend Andrew made. You guys might remember Andrew as Music Mike. Uh, yeah, keep the sand. We're doing it. Oh, did you? Oh, you did. Haha, <laughs> so you did. Boy. Awkward. That's awkward. I'm just gonna just gonna see myself out here. Cause I'm one step closer to the sober scrober. And I'm about to break. God, that surprise Pikachu is like the most perfect emote I've ever made. Oh, that was a good one. Also, if Nissa gets to survive, we get to Gear Hulk. That's pretty good.
that's worse. Actually, a red-green deck. They probably have infinite artifact removal spells, right? Oh, I'm about to bust. Draw a tree speaker, huh? One, two, three, four, five. We can actually just play this and then Woodfall Primus. That seems better. I guess we'll risk that. Whatever. Pass the turn. Just one time survive. I mean, if Tree Speaker survives, we get to Primus. That's pretty nice, right? Well, that guy's getting bigger. Ooze gets on bigger and bigger and bigger into the future. Yeah, never don't have it. Oh, God. Just exhausting. Well, a braid is in the graveyard, at least. That's nice. Inferno Titan? Genesis Hider for four. You hit... Mm. Well, I guess Lightning Bolt makes it so I can't block, but that's not a permanent, so you literally hit nothing, right? That's pretty cool. Seems good. All right, 16 lands, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We've drawn 9 and 5 spells. That's just swell. Just swell. Let me check. Scott, I did get the email. So, G2G, as the kids say. <laughs> it makes that condescension just perfect. All right, well, at least we can kill this Nissa before she does any real damage. This game three. This game three, right? First game we went nuts. I don't like attacking here because then they just double block and it's bad news for everybody. Did I get your email, Brian? I didn't get any email from you, Brian. I didn't send one. That's probably why. That would explain it, sir. That would. I really don't want to laugh at that. That's actually not even funny. But uh, here we are. <laughs> oh my god. I really don't like scavenging use on board because it just eats Woodfall Primus. I would sort of body and mind off the top would just be utterly amazing. Can we do that? Yeah, that's actually pretty good. We can also play this guy and uh, now we can start trying to crater hoof everything you say to me Nykthos now we don't draw that which is nice if you don't have plow under MCGO gets this point I agree with you that feels completely accurate Cause I'm one step closer to the edge and I'm about to break. That's fine. I keep F6ing, but then I have this I can actually activate the Woodfall Primus, the Woodfall, the Whisperwood Elemental's ability. And sure. So it's actually not uh, in my best interest to F6. God hazard's really obnoxious. 
We're trying to avoid hitting Crater Hoof Behemoth or Woodfall or uh, Sword of Body and Mind. I see. And that's the end. All right. Well, quality. Oh, good. I love it when it resizes. That's literally my favorite thing ever. Oh, absolutely incredible. God, I love that. All right, so let me get, go back to it. Yep. <sighs> now my oh, all right, match is good. I think we did it. <laughs> Great desktop background. Yeah, it was uh. Shit, that is my password. Yeah, it's old Ulamog. Uh, I have all the magic wallpapers as slides. What did we hit here? I wanted to see what we hit here. Oh my god, every time I hover over this thing, it's going to crash? Is this real? Pernicious dude, appreciate it, buddy. That is some that is some good that is some solid uh supportive throwback there. I'm sorry, what you, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> that clip is like I'm sorry, what's happening now? Yeah, that's good. Hmm. So I don't actually know how to stop this. I'm going to hit OK. And I guess I'm just not going to look at that morph. While I while I go to the help menu. And request reimbursement for some bullshit. Alright. Let's do it. What action is triggering Moto? Hovering over this second morph creature. Alrighty then. Let's request reimbursement. Here's my email. Miss my username. Event or match ID 212350859. Type of event. It is a league draft. Subject. I can't look at my morphs. My morphs. I'll play this guy. And I'll drop it like it's hot afterwards. Always yes and always yield. And I think this client is taking me one step closer to the edge. Do I hover over this again? Hold on, let me let me let me start up another another instance of this, so I can just jump right back in. Yeah, that's annoying. We're in the, no, okay. Oh, I can't even hover over it. Once you hover over it, it crashes, dude. If this error may be under cover, well, if this happens again, click this box to concede. Oh my Lord. Once you hover over it, dude. Wait, you mean it crashes both like my opponent has to keep logging in too? Is that true? There's no way that's true, dude. <laughs> no way, right? So I can't attack with that morph, right? So that's just... Oh, across both windows? No, this one didn't crash. It only crashes one.
Oh my god. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> this is actually incredible, dude. Oh my god. There's no way this is real, right? This is just a meme. This is just a friggin' meme. <laughs> actually amazing. I'm like losing my mind here, dude. It's hilarious. What was this, 2018? I gotta close all these other... Oh god, I don't actually want to hover over the... Um... Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna avoid it now. It's the one on the right. It's the second one. It's okay. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I don't think we're attacking with anything. That seems bad. They just block with Hazaret. Can I look at this one? I really don't know. Okay, that one I can look at. Okay. It's literally just this one, so I really don't know what it is. Could be a crater hoof. <laughs> I also wonder what it is. What could it be? I mean, like, here's the funny thing about this, a bug like this. Even if it doesn't cost me the game, you should still reimburse me for this experience, right? Like, because this is a poor user experience. I have to really avoid this guy. Inferno Titan. Titan. Can you kill this morph, please? Right here. This one right here. Avison's Pilgrim. And what else? Our face? Sure. Why they're not ticking up to overrun is a little little funny to me. Can we just top deck a crater hoof and win the game? Like can we just win the game if we hit crater hoof. Man, that ain't it. Bom 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 bada bada bom 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 bom. Just gonna pass here. Are you okay? Can I look at you? Let us find out. Forest, that's good. That's okay. It probably is the crater hoof, and the reason it crashes is because it doesn't want us to know. Because it knows we couldn't take it. Right click attack with all, unselect everything. But, well, what is that going to do, though? I'm pretty sure if I even go to unselect it, though... During upkeep, we're going to activate this guy. Oh, that's really good. Well, that dude's huge, right? 8, 9, 10? Uh, shoot this Garrick. So we're virtual we're virtual four right now. Wait, what just happened? Oh, they ate a noble hierarch out of their own graveyard? Sure. Discard to Hazaret. Yep. Yeah, we're at Virtual Four because once they attack with Inferno Titan, Tarmogoyf. Another beefy boy. Are we at a point where we can just Alpha yet? I feel like we're close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Why you do this, Magic Online? Yeah, I'm not going to count the number of cards. That's. That's a bit much. <laughs> I'm like, hey, nobody got time for that, man. I 
I really like resizing this window every time is really the most obnoxious part. If I didn't have to do that, I'd be fine with it. I'll just deal with it. Uh, is the game up? I can't tell. Dragonlord Atarka is on the stack. Oh, that seems good. I just hovered it over it again. Oh, God. Thank you. Freedom Cobra, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Thank you so much. I appreciate this support. Six months, that's half a year. Thanks for all the sweet content, awesome entertainment. Anytime. Thank you for this, the sweet support. Uh, you're going to kill this and this. You're like one to this and four to this. Okay, so you're gonna actually, huh? Are you attacking with Inferno Titan here? I'm sorry, was that not correct? Did they not do that? Did they do that differently? Ah, oh, four to Whisper and one to Walking Ballista. Well, that's worse. I would not have done that had I known. All right, one time off the top. Crater Hoof Behemoth. Thank you. <laughs> That's how you do it, folks. Crater hoof. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Ain't no morph gonna hold me down. Oh no, I'm gonna keep on. Are we gonna do it one more time? I'm gonna do it one more time just to see if now. Uh, if now it's a fake. Are you ready? It's gonna crash again. Okay. I'm going to keep sending all the error reports. Okay. Well, still not. I think I think what Rob said might be correct. It might have not actually pulled a card off the top. It might have just made a token. And then when it went to go figure out what card it was, it was like, I don't know. I didn't think this through. Oh my god. Scott just sent me an email with the exact same thing. It's like, there it is. Oh, it didn't like that. It doesn't like it. Alright, let's try again, I guess. Actually incredible. Magic's a hell of a game. I mean, Magic is a hell of a game. Magic Online is really the, uh, it's really the problem here. But the important thing is that we found out it was not indeed the Greater Hoof Behemoth. That's the important part. Um... Game crashes when hovering over morph. I will play first. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I like Windswept Heath and Tarmogoyf. What a combo. What a combination. Uh, that's what's known as a combination maneuver. No, it's not. Oh, boy. Let's crack you. Get a planes. 
play you. Play this guy. So if they try to kill it, it'll die. Yeah, I'm gonna mana leak this. Oh, Roman is even better. Now the Goyf is larger. <laughs> How nice. Joke's on you. I got things for days. Boom, 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 boom. Ba -da -ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. This guy. So we Discord. Disc. What do we Discord? Skur Tribal. We can play both of these next turn. Uh, it's got to be probably land because we can go Nissa into. Uh, I think it's Tribal. The Tribal is basically the same as a land here. Only we don't have to activate it. So I'm just gonna get. I'm gonna play Nick though. So we're gonna go Eternal Witness. Get back to Armor Play to Armor That's cool. Where are you bouncing, my Hydra? Fascinating. Yep, this feels like a bad matchup already. Well, you more flips. What doesn't flip crashes the client. Perfect. Beautiful. Gideon Geruno. <laughs> oh, 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 yes. That is a big dude. So I guess they can negative Lillian and negative Gideon Jura to kill, like, both of these guys. I and mean, if they neg Liliana, we're definitely... Like, we're just going to keep Wolf here, Silver Heart, so... Yep. And if they make a sacrifice, we're going to get rid of Eternal Witness. Yep. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. Just got the kill. Get in, Jura. Also, if they unburn our rights to get like a Leshnorn back, we get to keep Mana Gorge or Hydra, which is nice. Sure, that's actually pretty fine. Ashiok and Nissa. Go at your face. Hmm. 
Oh, we're both in top deck mode now. That's nice. Except we have a pretty sizable board. What up, Seville Pippin? That's aggressive. Thank you. Dalkery, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Crash Buddies from Anniversary. And what an anniversary it was. What a time to be alive. Yeah, I'm definitely wishing I kept the Nissa instead of the Draga Tree Speaker here, but I wanted to plus the Mana Gorge or Hydra. I mean, I don't know. I guess that seems better in the short term. Whereas, if we played Nissa, got a Forest, played the Forest, played Mana Gorge or Hydra, we'd have one less counter, but we'd have a Nissa instead of a Tree Speaker. Yeah, once they're, they're already soul bonded, you can't just soul bond anything you want. That would be just be like a regular bond, not a soul bond. Could have also used this, but the, the problem is if we draw any elf, like, we're not going to be using all of our mana, so we should be fine. Oh, sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker. How nice. I mean, it's definitely tree speaker here, unfortunately. Well, they just got a Lesh Norn back. That's pretty brutal. Creature one time. That does count. Just going to maximize this guy so that we can get whatever we can get. Oh, Rona seems pretty nuts. So does Master of the Wild Hunt. So does Pelucranos. Huh. Let's go Ronus here. Let's also Soul Bond. And now we have a 6-6. Six, six, uh, oh, so Ronus is a 9-9. Nine, nine. That's pretty strong. Unfortunately, this guy. If you're blocking, you're going to block here and here. So that doesn't do much. We're not going to have to discard. You have no cards in hand. <laughs> yeah, being able to activate Ronus two times next turn or three times if we hit a land is pretty good. Here's hoping they don't hit anything. They're going to be like, damnation, right before our Eldest Reborn goes off. I'm going to be like, that's sad. Oh, just an activation. All right. Well, see you later. Yep, the one turn of land is actually acceptable. Are they dead here? They're blocking Ronus. So they're taking 14, 26, 28. They might be dead here if they don't have a removal spell here. Oh, we don't have... Well, we have exactly enough, I guess. Wow. <laughs> that's What a game. So this is 8, and this is 14, and we give plus 2 to 2 dudes, so that's 18. That is exactsies. That was a game right there. Battle Ball is 4? Well, right, but we have to actually try to win, otherwise they resolve Eldest Reborn, and that's just all kinds of worse... Our deck seems fine here. 
I mean, realistically, we could just be playing things like Hangmarsh Dunn Making. Which we might want to. Like, all we have to do is we add a, f a Swamp, and then we still have Isolated Travel Shambling Vent. I don't know if that's great, though. That's a lot of stretching our mana pretty thin. I will keep. It's your boy, Whisper, Whisperwood Elemental. Whisper Glitch. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy. Well, butter my biscuits. We got six mana next turn. That's nice. Hmm, I see. Oh, we're going to discard here. Fascinating. Oh, this is going to be gas. I'm actually going to discard the walking ballista. That seems like the weakest card in our hand. Yeah, they're basically dead here. I mean, they get to kill one forest if they unburn our rights and they don't actually have the mana to do so. What is even happening? Just take a casual 13. We can't remand. Gifts ungiven? Sure. That's fine. This is where they just get Unbarrow Rights and Aleshnorn, so we don't actually get a choice. I bet Whisper is responsible for cat deja vu in the Matrix. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. Oh, Unbarrel Rights Grave Titan, and then they just concede. That's interesting. All right, well... <laughs> On that note, despite a very awkward round two, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon, on Twitch, and MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. All of those are available to you in the description below. You get 15% off at MeUndies.com, and they have super soft micromodal underwear, sleep pants, lounge pants, rather, uh, onesies, socks, tees, you name it. Pretty, pretty great deal if you guys want to check that out. It helps me. It helps the channel. Uh, and you get something cool out of it as well that you likely need anyway. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the support, and I will see you next time.